Hey folks, it's your boy Fox Marine, and uh, yeah, I guess for this month of October, we'll be looking into um, the Soul of the Samurai. So let's get on it. <laughs> I've I think I've talked about this game previously, and this is sort of like I guess RE1 and RE2, but in feudal Japan. But I, it's not as survival horror-y. I mean, this is a lot more forgiving, and I guess that it's not as tension-filled. I mean, when you play as a samurai or in, as a ninja, uh, you know, tension is out of the window. But it, it, it does its best. What is this? Oh, she's kicking ass. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> use the use this sheet to take him out. That's pretty cool. Grown men picking on a child? Here, baby. I'll lend you a hand. So I guess this is a bit of a yeah, tutorial right here. Of no. My timing's a little off. Whoever you are, I don't recall you ask. I don't recall asking you for your help. I am. Oops. Shouldn't have treated you like a child. Relax. I just don't like bullies. I'm not interested in kids. Lady, what did you do to get the authorities on your tail? I'm sorry, but I don't have the time to chat. Yeah, we have to hurry. All right. Maybe we'll run into each other again. So uh, yeah, when I said this is a lot like RE 1 and 2, like the original, it, it's in more ways than one, it, it, it's kind of like it, and each of these characters you get to pick from either Kotaro or Lin. Uh, we're gonna go with Lin, and I didn't have any trouble with Kotaro, like I always start off playing with him, but Lin is actually easier. I think that's how they designed it anyway. So a ship laden with the Shogun's gold disappeared. A ninja, Shin, was dispatched to investigate. When contact was lost with him, the Shogun had sent three more spies. Unbeknownst to them was the presence of a fourth ninja, Lin, Shin's younger sister. So yeah, Lin over here, she's not in official business. Um, I'll talk about more of the game mechanics because this game is really good. I wish they made a lot more like this. That was careless of me. So much for my ninja training. Where could my brother have gone to? Maybe we can get clues by finding the lost transport ship. So, it, um, this is a lot easier. Wait, can I, can I go through here? Um. I cannot interact with this just yet. So yeah, um, Lin starts us off here in the village, so it doesn't drop us off into, you know, fighting as much. And I, honestly, like that first part where, you know, we play as Kotaro, we could honestly just skip that one. I just managed to play it, so. Hi, hello, hi. Buddha statue in that tower is sacred, you should see. So we gotta find out, like, uh, we gotta actually do some talking, some, uh, I guess, like, RPG stuff here. But there are also, like, items around. Could you please put your sword away? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, we keep it away. And then actually has a higher jump. I may have tried to do a jump with Kotaro earlier. But, um... Yeah, it's not as high. You have to go to the Raven Forest. Alright. Now I know where the transport ship is, but... I do know there are, um... There are... 
follow us. Yeah, I could actually talk to some of these people here too. And I could actually kill them too. <laughs> they'll come back. They'll, yeah, they'll respawn. So, yeah. It's not good. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Got my healing items here now. Um, you know, this isn't a blind playthrough. But I don't know, I just feel like this game is like super underrated. And uh this honestly feels more like a spiritual uh prequel to uh Onimusha Warriors. Cause it has it works off these same tropes like Onis and ninjas and fighting off, you know, monstrosities and the shogunate in a uh there's a uh, to call this a conspiracy involving the shogunate so uh, this is a little bit more like um a story between shin and lin when they were younger however this is just like a uh, this is the actual tutorial so i'll skip this for a bit <laughs> it's getting dark let's call it yep let's go home Okay, so I could do um, one of two things. I could just. Uh, I could do this. I could just literally just. Oh, no, that won't be good. Okay, I could literally just skip. Move. Oh boy, yeah, I got a lot. Oh boy, no, no, no. Not, not off to a great start. Um, yeah, so if I have my weapon drawn. <laughs> So the reason why uh, Lin is easier, she has combo attacks. Uh, oh, hi. Right, if uh, I'm engaged in battle, right, let's say here, right? I can't leave the screen. Right? Okay, I'll help. let's see. But if I put away my sword, I'd be able to leave, no problem. So that was what I was trying to do a while ago. Um, great thing about Lin is she... Yeah, you can just mash, like, mash buttons to do things. And really, there's a lot more to this game than, like, than uh, mashing buttons. Uh, Lin is just like... Her playstyle doesn't lend itself to... Uh, actually showcase the mechanics in this game and she actually plays a lot more differently than uh than Kotaro yo Hanzo what up Lin why are you here he's hurt yeah why did you have to come so this is where you hid your shogun and dog Another of your ninja friends? How convenient. This is a boss, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it's a boss. Okay, hold on. Uh... Yes, there you're rocking. As long as he's not summoning no. Hey! And um. I shouldn't worry about health too much. Like, this is just a normal enemy with more health, basically, as a special. There's nothing special with him, so it's just like mash again. <laughs> this honestly should have been a boss. So yeah, they were outed. I was attacked as soon as I arrived, but why? This fiefdom is behind the disappearance of the transport ship, just as I thought. What are they doing with the gold? Genzo is investigating that. Ken is searching for the master. Genzo and Ken? Where are they now? Whew. I don't know. They should have their findings with them. What about you, Hanzo? I'm searching for the sword, Rakuyo. That was loaded with gold. So Rukuyo is actually uh, Lin's 
uh, ultimate sword. Her, it's her best weapon. And I picked this one first because um, it's actually easier to get to it. So yeah, this is a basic easy mode. But the degree of difficulty between both characters isn't all that isn't all that um, wide. I'm sorry, I'm not giving I'm not giving the story as much attention as I should, and I really should. It's a really good. It's it's a decent enough story. Um, okay, oh, okay. So I thought I had my save file here, but I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought I had my save file here, but apparently it's elsewhere. And I guess like the difficulty of this game is not knowing where to go, right? But it's actually nice to just run around and discover shit. So Hanzo, a ninja sent after Shin, manages to brief Lin despite his grave injury. He directs her to seek out a safe house as his life ebbs away, but he succumbs before he could inform her of Shin. Lin is left to seek the others and her brother alone. Now, uh, I could save. Um, like, we, we've already saved earlier, but uh, I could actually find these flower thingies. That, uh, that kind of ser serve as, uh, save slots. So, hey, it's Leon. I mean, Hanzo. I mean, Kotaro. <laughs> oh, you know, with all those Japanese names. Hi, honey. <laughs> a sleazeball. Hey, Kotaro. We seem to run into each other. I'm Lin. I'm... I suppose we're both lucky to be alive. This isn't the time for this. I'm sorry, but I have to... I have no time for idle chats. I'm going. Wait, before you go, do you know anything about this? This is in code, and it's Genzo's writing. Who did you get this from? Is he still alive? He must be dead. Why? What went wrong? No, he's dead. What does that say? I can't read it at all. Well, I don't- I doubt you could read. What do you want to know? You shouldn't get involved in this. I can't ignore this. If I had a kid sister, she'd be like you. You have no right to say that. But hey, uh, thank you. Thank you, farewell. Eh, still polite. I guess I have no choice but to check every house. Honestly, we don't. And a bulk of my, I guess, like, my first playthrough of this is spent with this part, um, this part of the area. And let me check here. There should be an item here, right? Oh, there is one. Okay, but this right here, that's our, that's our safe spot. We don't need to do that. We don't need to use it. Honestly. The reason why I was checking this out is because this is the- wait, no, 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 let's go here. Okay, there's a heal herb here, and a- nope, oh, nothing there. Cool. Uh, and then there's this. Is it here? Oh, so for those not familiar, uh, like, like, RE works with, um, tank control, so is there anything here? Anything here? Temple, it says. Okay. Then here. Path of Guiding Light, it reads. Broken Lamp, it says. Okay. And then... Banner, it reads. Stone Pavement, it says. Broken Lamp, Stone Pavement, Banner, Path of Guiding Light, and Temple. Temple is obvious, but I wonder what the rest means. This is actually just a clue to the, to the final weapon. I wonder how they, how they fit together. Well... We'll find it soon enough. Who? Who's there? Genzo, I heard you were dead. I'm so glad you're alright. Lin? Alright? Come and see for yourself if this is alright. So yeah, this is... <laughs> this is the... This is... This is the survival, this is the horror aspect of this game. 
I played this when I was like 12 or 11. This, yeah, that did not sit well with me. This is like one of two, uh, one of two scenes that did not sit well with me. So I guess like the primary, um, I guess like the primary strategy for most of these bosses is just wait for them to attack since their guard is down. No. So yeah, their their attack they like okay, yeah, and now his helmet is off. Oh yeah, and I forgot. Um, Lin has a awesome back. Uh, dang it! Oh, I can make it. It's fine. We don't need this. Sorry, we're good. <laughs> Genzo, why? Well, Genzo got fucked up, son. And Shigure. Also, we get swords. We get, we get, uh, we get swords in this game. So we're gonna upgrade. We're gonna need to start using this new sword that we just got. Chapter 3, Raven. Lin runs, aghast at the news of Genzo's death, as told by the ronin she had met before. She is confronted by Genzo, who has been transformed. Having killed her former ally, Lin heads to the sea, taking a winding path through a forest of ravens. Oh yeah, we were supposed to go to the forest initially, and then, okay, finally now we're going to the... Yeah, yeah we're finally heading there. Um... This right here, uh, that's XP, so I could just, like, ignore enemies, but I won't be leveling up. And every time I level up, actually, let's equip our new one. Also, we could actually check, yeah, check each, uh, let's see. So it, sh it shows us our sharpness and whatever the fuck, right? I could, like, ignore every enemy, but, like, every time I level up, I get new moves. So this is our move list. And it shows how much. Oh, we got ninjas. Okay, we got ninjas. Okay, there, there we go. Okay. We're having none of that. And we got, I think. Okay, alright. I try not to. Oh boy, there's. Okay, and one more thing is. Try not to, um, I guess, like, find yourself in between two enemies. Since your back is basically exposed. And I promise you, yeah, there we go, see, we just leveled up. Uh, I promise you, folks, like, there is a lot more technique involved with this. Like, it just so happens, Lin does not exhibit, like, they're just mashing buttons. <laughs> and to be fair, it's a lot more challenging to get Kotaro's uh, sword. They also throw uh, shurikens as well. There we go. Another heal herb. Okay. Behave yourself. Ah. Uh. Now there's also a parry system, which I have not. Um, Um, there's a parry system here, which I can't quite figure out with Lin. Yo, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on these links so that I could remind you that this is a warning, not a guarantee.